Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, what I have here is two Swedish mess kits. Uh, this one didn't come shiny like this. So I've taken the paint off of it. Um, this one is the M40 stainless steel. This is the M44 in aluminum. They're basically identical, other than that. Now, the, the bale is different on this. It's kind of more squarish instead of rounded. Get this guy off. Come on, you. And I think that was done at the factory with that kind of loop. So, it has a square type of tongue on here with spot weld or something and this has rivets so this is one of those things where if you if you know what you're looking at you know like knife detector looks at a big lot of knives and he sees something in there and he goes hmm they don't know what they've got and that was the case with this one because when I saw it it would have a price that was too good to be true. So all I did was I clicked on on eBay. You can click on a, something you're looking at. And it puts a heart symbol in there. Well, I guess that uh, sends a notification to the seller that someone is interested in it. And sometimes they'll send you an offer. <clears throat> so before I could research this one and say, man, is this really what I think it is? Um, the person that was selling it sent me an offer for even less. So these normally, nowadays, used to be they were, this one only has a couple of issues. One is the cover. I gotta pull it off. The cover goes on a little bit tight. Also at one time, it had some damage and they just spot welded this little tang. But I mean, that's it. The rest of it is fine. It's stainless steel, so you uh, don't have to worry about it reacting with foods and stuff like that. It is a little bit heavier. I'll put the weights up and everything. It's not that much heavier. Um, yeah, I, I took the paint off it up here because it, it had a lot of uh, flaking and stuff like that. And when you use these... Sometimes you put this in like this, right over your food. <clears throat> so if you've got flaking paint, now I probably, I probably did more damage to myself, sandpapering the paint, not having a mask on, and getting it all over my fingers and stuff like that. But that was the theory behind that. But one of the ways you can tell these apart is the rings. An aluminum one's going to have two rings, and a stainless steel one's going to have one. Now, there are knockoffs of this aluminum one, and the difference is it doesn't come with this handle here, with this little loop, and on the knockoff, it doesn't have these D rings for putting a stick in it. Those are missing. But other than that, it's identical. And these are oval shaped. There's no other, I, don't, I haven't seen any other mess kits that are oval shaped like this. So the person that was selling this was selling it for something like 18 or $19. And uh, I wound up getting it for like $17 or something. I'll, I'll put the thing up there. But what they did, they listed it wrong. They said it was Russian, which it's not. And they said that it was warlike, which I guess it is. But anyways, the weird listing that they gave to it um, caused it. Now you see those scrapes up there. I've been doing it with the sandpaper thing, and this was so thick, I got... A more abrasive thing and put a drill on it the problem with that is it, it put deeper scratches in it anyways you can see I went like this way with it 
Stand on it long enough and you'll get rid of it. So yeah, it doesn't come with, I mean, other than using this lid right here, I think why the lid is tight is because they they spot they weld it up here and when they weld it up here they probably you can feel a little bit more ridge here I tried to sand that down a little bit but I made this little lid for it it's not much but it's a lid so you can put it on here or you can put it on there It'll help you reduce your boil time. And also, if you're cooking on the woods and stuff like that, on a fire, sometimes it's good, but a lot of times ashes and smoke will get in there, and it'll start flavoring your food. I mean, sometimes that's an advantage, like I said, but not, not a bird flying by and dive bombs on you. You don't want that in your food. <clears throat> but yeah, this was basically a Domino's tin lid and I just took basic hand tools as obvious and uh, the main thing when you're dealing with tin and stuff like this is watch out you're gonna cut yourself so I used a pair of diagonal cutters to cut and then I used a pair of needle nose pliers to twist it and I folded over the edges so that you couldn't you know mess yourself up I don't know if I'm gonna put a little d-ring and everything up in there but eh, this will work I don't need all that other stuff on there see so yeah, I just want to show you that and this is the uh, the uh, windscreen and stove that comes with the later versions I think mine's listed as uh, 67 SVEA Svea yeah, but it's got these little wings that open up. This is the uh, civilian burner, but if, if you got a real, if you originally got the kit, it would come with the pot, a windscreen, a trangia, this alcohol thing. It's got the little three crowns on it for putting your, later on they have a yellow tag and stuff putting on it. Um, I think this one's 1966, the date on this one. So it's just a little bottle to hold your alcohol in. And then you can also just use this as a wood stove too without alcohol. Throw stuff in there. But it's got a cutout that allows the handle to sit in there. And yeah, I can make a kind of a hybrid system where this lid this lid will fit on this pot. So I could have a stainless steel pot to cook out of and an aluminum one to eat out of or drink out of. Or I could just leave it like it is, go with stainless steel. Now it doesn't work the other way around. This lid is smaller. I'd have to do some filing and beating on it and stuff like that to get it to fit and I don't really need to do that so I'm gonna leave that the way it is so yeah these things used by themselves without all the kit can go for 140 bucks easy switch the camera over and here's a Hungarian mess kit I mean cutlery set the can opener thing is separate but it's got a nice little knife and then it says 2020 mm -hmm. focus RTX 2020 Nice fork, nice big old spoon, and it just nests together.
when I got it they had it the knife parts sticking like this and it came in a little case this is I still manufacture these these are pretty cool <clears throat> but yeah your original kit you would get a stove a windscreen a stove a bottle and then a little green cup that looks like a measuring cup like a one cup flower cup it was designed so it would fit in there i think they call it kuska or something like that but yeah these are pretty good they're hard to get nowadays and they're expensive but at one time they were pretty cheap and this aluminum one i picked up like 10 15 years ago for probably like five dollars Now, if you put the, um, your burner and all that stuff in there, it's best to put them in a bag in case it leaks out. You won't mess up your pot. Oh, I didn't put the lid on. And we're all zoomed in. Stop it. Zoom back. Crowns. Let's see if we can zoom in. Fifty eight. Well, I got my channel stickers in the first time I ever you know messed around with it and uh, the name barely shows up <laughs> but this one stands out a little bit better so yeah I have threw two of those you know one of each into the uh, swag bag going on the giveaway there and I've got my 50 of each we're really now 49 and then i'm gonna put a sticker up here or there but uh if you want one just contact me at uh bmancell at yahoo.com and uh i'll give you my mailing address and then all you need to do is just send me a, a stamp self-addressed envelope so I could just drop it in there, and I'll drop you in a sticker. As long as I've got them, until I run out. And next time, I'll probably go with this size. And I'll, I was trying to go with my original font, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. And finally, they had done a proof, and I told them I need, you know, like a black outline at least on the name to make it stand out a little bit. But it's basically the me there with the little horse. And then all these different knives out there. So I'll probably do different ones. But this is my first time to ever get a channel sticker. And these things are vinyl. You know, you peel them and stick them onto something. And I went with Sticker Mule. Aww. Oh, I guess that's a donkey. I don't know if a mule does that. A mule is a cross between a donkey and a, and a horse, I think. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to show you those and let you know about the how you can get one if you want one while they last. Limited time offer. <clears throat> yeah, and if I send anything out, I'll throw them in, you know, and people that I already know, like, that have sent me stuff like Big Red stuff, well, you know, he'll be having one coming in the mail to him. People that I've got addresses to, but, uh... Yeah, I wanted to just show you that and get that mule out of here. Get that mule out of here. So, yeah, this is the civilian Trangia and this is the military one. Now, the military one's a little bit wider. It doesn't come with a simmering and it doesn't really have a screw top. It's just got this little twist on. Mine actually has a, a pretty good O-ring in it. It doesn't leak. I've cleaned it out. 
I've cleaned these little pinholes out and everything else. Uh, it burns fairly well, doesn't it? It cracks in the cup and everything, but the civilian version comes with a simmering, which comes in handy. You don't want it over boiling, like I did the other night. And uh, this comes with a screw lid on it, and it's got, it looks like it's a smaller capacity, but this one burns better. I don't know what it is about it, but it actually produces a better flame and burns hotter. I don't know, just a different design. The height of the chimney, I don't know. I'm no scientist. Not on that. But yeah, that's that. And uh, the only other thing I wanted to show you about the Swedish one is uh, this is a Swedish canteen. Now, this one's strange in that usually they have the wool all the way around, but this one on the back, I guess it got cheap and decided to just put that. I'm not going to pull it out, but there's an aluminum can in here. It was a pain in the ass to get this thing to connect. But it has this little clip system that all I got to do is like that. And it clips onto this thing. And I tink. And it definitely needs to be cleaned out and all that if you're going to use it. It's got a pretty good cap in it, but it's some grunge in there. It's, it's pretty clean, basically, on the inside. But it, yeah, a little frosty stuff. You don't want to be gobbling that. But yeah, they had to they had to carry some weight. I'll put up the weights on these different ones. The aluminum one is by far um, lighter than the other one, but it's still substantial. You can barely flex that squeezing on it, and the stainless steel when you can't even get it at all to flex. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. We had some cutlery in there. Well, let's show the knife. Show the knife again. It's this one's got a little bit better. It's got serrations all the way down. Oh, sorry, it wasn't even on camera. We're focused. Serrations all the way down. So it looked like it'd be good, you know, as a butter knife or improvised cutting that tough steak. But yeah, it's a pretty good set. They're still making these, so that's pretty cool. Because this does give you room in your hand. You know, if, like the uh, Yugoslavian was built in, it gives you room in your hand. But you might, you know, bump into that if you're eating something. This way you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, pretty neat little set. Thank you for watching. Oh, Earthquake. And have a nice day.